What's up? What's up guys? Another day, another unboxing. Alright, okay, today we're gonna be unboxing this unboxing and then we will set it up. The Tenda AC2100. This is also known as the AC uh, the AC23. This is, or this was suggested to me by our good friend once again, Chris Naungayan. Maraming salamat, Brad. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so this is gonna be the Chinese version. So everything here is in Chinese. We will be uh, setting it up. We'll be try. We'll, we'll try to translate everything, and then let's see. It will be successful. All right. I I I know little, uh, or I have little knowledge of this stuff. That's why I reached out to to Chris regarding this. So he's the one who taught me uh, how to do it. And um, let's go ahead. Intro in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, first up, let us try or let us take it out of the box. Okay, let's open this. Let's just stir it up. Just put the mount up there. Okay, Chris, by the way, has the same thing. Okay, so this is from something that he is already using. He's happy about it. So I kind of waited for him to. Uh, or I kind of waited for his feedback first before I bought the item. It's good. It's good though that he, he bought the same thing because if he did not, I will have no idea that this one exists. Okay, right, so I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using this as a, a router. Okay, uh, as a router. So the modem we will still use our existing, the one that came from our provider. Okay, right, and uh, I'm still thinking if I will turn that off or the if I'll turn the Wi-Fi off. And just use this solely or we will use them together i'm not decided yet so let's see let's see what's in the box let's see what's in the box this is well this is how it looks like by the way looks like an alien huh? looks like looks like a mothership <laughs> and, well by the looks of it well it really looks like it's gonna it's gonna be giving us a really good signal after i hope so um so here later we're gonna be comparing the speeds. Here. Well, we'll just use the, I mean, let's just use the ukla and the, the to to have the speed tested and let's see if there will be like a huge difference. All right, let's take it out of the box. Dude, it's so big. I mean, compared to the current uh, router that we have, that one is like half of this stuff anyway look uh see you can see there everything bro is in chinese see aside from the numbers of course so check out so everything everything is in everything uh manual is yep manual is in chinese as well manual is in chinese as well all right let's check out the hardware check out the hardware Alright, just take it out. Ooh, there. See? Looks like it's gonna invade your world. It's like a UFO. <laughs> looks good though. Nice, huh? Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Dude, how many antennas? One. How many antennas do we have? It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. So as, as explained to me, uh, or as explained by Chris, this has, uh, what do you call it? Let's see if it's here. There, it says here. There, look at that, look at that. It's that, all right. It says here, M-I-M-O, okay. Or MIMO, MIMO. Whatever you, want, uh, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, that mainly, uh, as, as I said by, uh, by, uh, by my friend, it basically communicates with your device at the same time. All of the devices. Not like your ordinary router that communicates to it one by one. So, so think of it as, as, as how he explained it. Uh, as how he explained it 
uh, think of it as uh, it your 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 existing router works like this. It's like you are in in line in the cashier register. So the the, the cashier serves you. All right one by one okay so you get the signal like that okay for for the for this device okay pan the next the next the next that's how it gives so in terms of ping in terms of latency it obviously it's bigger all right compared to this the mimo means um multi in or multiple input multiple output that's what it means um it can communicate with all of the devices you have at once. Uh, so, makes sense, right? <laughs> makes sense. So here, here at home, here at home, since um, how many people do we have here? Or like uh, five, six people? Yep, yep. How many? Five, oh my goodness, I can't even count. All right five people so obviously we have our devices multiple devices for each one so you can imagine how many people our current router serves mm. so hopefully this will uh, uh, this will serve us better faster and we will compare it later here by the way is the adapter let's see well, since it's in Chinese uh, I just want to confirm. Now I let us see. Let us see. Stir it up. Oh, hi. It's, it's in 220. Alright, I was nervous there. Because if it's 110, dude, it's going to be a problem. Alright, so that has. So that, that's it. We have. Inside the box, we have the router itself. Alright. And then we have the adapter or the power brick. And then we have this the LAN cable okay and then what else that that's it that's it that's it There's nothing else it's in the box nothing else in the box so how does it look like let's take out the plastics let's take out the plastics okay and then the last one boom all right so how it looks like in front and this is the back see there's the back so what I'm planning is, yes, I'm going to be using this for uh, as the main router at home. So I'm going to connect the existing one to this. And then this is the one that will spread all the signal. Okay. And this one obviously has a wider range. Okay. And then uh, it only has like three. Three. For if you guys want to use wired connections i'm going to be using this with my xbox and with my ps4 all right so let's set it up and good luck to us all right so this is how i did it um well apologize i apologize for the messy wiring um it's just gonna be temporary just for this video anyway uh this is the main this is the one that uh, came with the provider. Okay, if it looks familiar to you, then you know what my provider is. <laughs> okay, so this is the cable that goes up up to uh, the AC23. This is the fiber cable, obviously. Okay, so this is the one that came. This is the one that came with the provider. Then this is the AC23. 23 so the yellow cable that i showed you earlier from that router or from that modem it's now here it's connected here okay and then these two are my wired connections okay so the plan now is for us to use this as well just as a modem and then this as the router so after after everything is set up, after we do the testing, I'm going to disable the wireless LAN there. So we're not going to be getting any Wi-Fi signals from that router anymore. It's just going to be the EC23. Okay? So first, let us set up the passwords and stuff. 
Okay, so I am now connected to Tenda. There, there. Okay, as you can see. And we will go to the settings. There, tendawifi.com. Okay, then here's the part that we have to translate. Okay, we'll, we will use the Google Translate. Okay, we just have to point the camera there. See? There. Oh, see? See how easy that was? Okay, start experience. Okay, there. And then translate again. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Dynamic IP. Okay, next step, next step. All right, so, all right, so that's the name of the router, and this is where we will enter our passwords for the Wi-Fi. All right, after that is entered, all right, everything should be good. And there, now we can go online. Nice. Okay, going back. Okay, I will go back to the tendawifi.com. Okay, let's go back there. We we'll just have to enter our password. And then at this page, we can already, okay, as Chris said, we can already translate this using the browser. Let's see. Huh. Success. So we can now change our settings and all that stuff. Explore. All right. Oh, see? And that is how you do it, people. All right. What else? What else? What else do we have? So we have the 2.4 and the 5G there. I'm going to be connecting to the 5G later. All right. And uh, at this point, I think there's no other thing to do but to test everything out. Okay, here it is guys. So the old one is the one that came from the provider and the AC23 is the, obviously the new one. For the AC23, I was able to connect to the 5G. Okay, the 5G connection and the old one is just, uh, well, it's not capable of 5G so I had no choice. Okay, so you can see the difference. I am in my office now. It's about like 7 to 10 meters away from both routers. And uh, obviously, this is where I need the signal the most, okay? And uh, well, there's a very, very big difference, I guess, as you can see. And I'm pretty happy about it. Earlier, I was earlier I was able to play Fortnite um, using the AC23. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was wired anyway, so I, there was really no, there was really no ping. There was really no latency. Well, um. I guess that's about it guys um if you guys are planning to to buy this router then go ahead um once again for me uh, for me because the the price difference between the chinese version and the english version is just dude it's almost a thousand bucks and uh, if you can do this if you can just translate everything which is just the only difference then uh, i can just settle with a uh, with the Chinese version, then there's really no difference. With uh, I mean, performance-wise, right? So, if you are on a budget, and uh, if you are, um, and if you want to get a pretty good router, this, by the way, is how much? A thousand six hundred fifty. One thousand six hundred fifty, and made a pretty big difference. Made a pretty big difference. So this is once again the office. Um, we have there. There, if you can see it. Sorry, it's pretty messy. But we are, the router is out there, like 7 to 10 meters. And we are, this is like a, a wooden wall, cis wall, plywood. So you can see the difference that uh, the old router, the signal is kind of weak. So it was able to, uh, you, can, you can clearly the speed, the difference earlier, right? So that's how it is, and I was surprised uh, that the five G signal of the AC twenty three was able to penetrate the walls. Pretty good, pretty good, 
And uh, earlier also, I was able to go out of the house. I was able to go upstairs, back of the house. Signal is still there. I was still using 5G. Hmm, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Okay, and that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something. And uh, till next video. Bye.